Amigos, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where today you're going to be seeing how we get this um, drip irrigation system replaced, and we're going to start getting ready to fix the fixtures, the lighting and stuff like that. You can see the old valves. So we'll progress quickly into this job. We'll show you how we get to do it with different areas. We're going to go in back and forth like I always do, front to back. You guys can see the transformer for the low voltage lighting there, but all the old lamps are going to get replaced we're going to make sure that we make a trench pull out all the wire pull out all the irrigation we broke a couple parts of the irrigation in the process which something we already knew before we even started the project we made sure we told the owner a couple things are going to break we're going to have to buy parts to fix them it's just so many years that things are gotten old and when you pull them up they just slice right through a lot of the staples were rusted so they weren't coming out and when you pulled the drip irrigation system they just sliced right off you guys can see all the parts that i have all the couplings that i already got to fix all these irrigation places where they already split open so we'll keep showing you guys what we do out here and how we do it it's a good planter we're getting ready for decomposed granite you guys have been seeing quick little projects about this on instagram and on facebook different um social media platforms that we've been using we mostly use youtube for videos of before and after like we tell you guys we don't do all how-to videos we have a couple of how-to videos but most of them are just a progression of everyday life and gardening and landscape and what we do out here and how i build my business so we can make sure that we continue to progress and like that one day we will just take care of what we worked hard to get so you guys can see the drip irrigation system right here nice and perfect everything's working out great we've been opening for a couple new plants that he's gonna put there used to be plants there but they died so they plugged them up i want to make sure that i open them up again so we'll go from there i'll show you guys this is a nice yellow palo verde tree it flowers all year, all year a couple times and then you see the rose bush here i thought some of the bubblers that don't work some of the stream bubblers or spray bubblers for the drip don't work so we'll have to fix them some of them do work i can open them and it starts watering others don't you can see for example this one you open it up and it'll start watering so we'll continue let's get going amigos Amigos, there you go. This is exactly what you do. You punch a hole right into the into the drip, and then you put in your little emitter there, so it can all do good. We turn it, we do what it takes, and we make sure. Gonna have to take you to another one. You go. You guys can see how we made the hole, and then we push it in. That's all you guys have to do to make sure that these drip irrigation regulators go in and they do the stream bubbling the way they're supposed to. So we'll progress and we'll show you what it looks like. We got this nice little fix out here. Everything went good except on that T right there. It cracked. So now water comes out. We're something totally unexpected but it happens every job something totally unexpected happens we place the parts that we're going to use to fix it we go to the store again this is the second time i go to lowe's again today just to make sure that we brought the parts i didn't know none of this was broken so that's how you figure it out fellas it's a special part for that um plug-in for the a quarter three eighths hose for the drip system so it's a special part needed i'm gonna have to go get it and then we're gonna go replace it you guys can see right there quick as possible you guys remember i consider myself an irrigation specialist i do mostly all of the um work that has to do with plumbing or irrigation works for a landscape we can do it all from quarter inch to three four inches we can deal with all kinds of irrigation systems so that's what's been helping us out progressing our business and getting everything to water right you guys can see that we hold some value being able to break things and then fix them we don't have to call anybody else to fix them we fix our own mistakes and we'll go to one more video of our good friend we've been working on this you guys know that we were going to replace the manifold that has a shut off that doesn't work anymore so we're going to replace everything now that we're here we're going to go ahead and cut you guys can see how i cut it nice and perfect everything's going to get cut the same and then pulled out at once this was the last cut so hopefully i can cut this and pull it all, all out together like that i get a little um feel of what the new one's gonna look like how much i have to distance the pipes from each other you guys can see it all came out in one i made the perfect cuts to make sure that it all comes out i left the ones that were left there i put a shut off valve just to make sure that we can progress and work now now we can turn the water back on now that there's a shut off there and now we can continue working without any stress that the people don't have water they're not home but you guys can see everything was hooked up lined up re-threaded specials everything is good we're ready for the back thanks for everybody watching auc amigos